This is very suspicious. A man went to the mortuary in the middle of the night to steal his dead wife's body, brought it home to his farm where he hired a group of young men to dig a grave and bury her in it. And this is not even the weirdest part of this story. You will not believe what else the man did that is making everyone raise their eyebrows. Is the man hiding something or is this some kind of ritual practice? The late woman who was identified as Rabai Kavai from Kenya was said to have died on the 27th of May 2022 in Marakuchi village in Kenya under a very unusual circumstance but eventually everyone felt her death was natural and her burial was fixed by the entire family for the 3rd of June 2022. However, when the 3rd of June reached, the woman's husband, William Chebukale, stopped the burial ceremony and called the police to return his wife's casket back to the mortuary. Everyone was surprised at this new development, but they all brushed it off thinking maybe the man was not ready to let his wife go. They were thinking he was still grieving. And I guess some people thought it was, oh, so nice. He does not want to bury his wife. They gave the man the benefit of the doubt that he was most likely not ready to let his wife go. Only for the next day, the 4th of June, a Saturday, in the middle of the night. Some sources claim the early hours of the morning. William secretly went back to the morgue to retrieve his wife's remains, brought it to the family farm. Deep at the end of the farm, by the fence of the farm, hired a group of men to dig a two-feet grave. Two feet, not the usual six feet. The men dug a two feet grave and placed the woman's casket where they buried it with the sand and then leveled the grave. They did not even make it so obvious that someone had been buried there. Williams ordered the men to level the grave as though nothing was put in it and then he used sugarcane leaves to cover the fresh spots he had just buried his wife. To make it look ordinary, to make people pass, people would even pass there and not know that someone was buried there. I guess that was his intention. Unfortunately for Williams, people saw him and people snitched. Words got around that this woman had been buried secretly by the husband in their farm, in a two-feet grave that was unmarked and made to look like no one was even buried there. And it was learned that Williams didn't care. He wasn't exactly doing it to hide it. I mean, after all, he paid some group of boys to dig the hole. He knew definitely that these guys would go out and snitch. It's not as if these guys owed him loyalty. So when he was confronted regarding the manner in which he used to bury his wife, it was said Williams didn't give an F. He even ordered his children, who were not living with him at the time, they were I think in another part of the country, he ordered them not to come home and told them that there was no need to come home, that they should remain where they were. And he told everyone who was expecting a funeral to go and basically drink a cold zobo and rest, that the burial had been done and it was over. Clearly this man is a stubborn man. As far as he is concerned, he has buried his wife and every other person can go fly over a cliff or hug a transformer because he wasn't giving an F for real. And that is why his children are calling on the government to please come and intervene. This is how serious it is. The kids of this woman are asking the Kenyan government to, to help them out. That their father has done something and the man doesn't seem like he's ready to take it back. And this is why many people are now questioning his motive. The children at this point are now suspecting that their father is trying to cover up something. At this point now, they are doubting if it's their mother that is truly inside that casket. The other people in the villages are now like, did the woman actually die a natural death or is this man trying to hide something? Why was he secretly burying the woman's corpse without informing even the woman's family and her uh, uh, own children? And why did he bury the woman in his farm in a two feet grave? Two feet. That doesn't even look like someone who is even trying to hide something. Because if he was trying to hide something, he would have dug a lot deeper if you ask me. But then again, seeing that he's very stubborn and seeing that this is a very tricky situation, what are the possibility that he's actually trying to cover up something? Something maybe about the death of his wife. Some people, however, are of the opinion that he was just trying to cut costs, that he did not want to spend money on the funeral and that was why he did it the way he did. But I highly doubt that. I mean, if he wanted to cut costs, there, are, I'm sure there are numerous ways he would have gone about it that would not include stealing her body at night or burying her in a two-feet grave. Two feet? Come on! Honestly, the two feet, to me, is the strangest part of this story. And now I understand why the kids are worried and why the kids are now calling on the government to intervene. Because to me, if I hear someone bury uh, an adult person in a two-feet grave, 
it seems to me that the person is most likely coming back to dig up that person all over again because I don't understand why the man would want to bury his wife in a two feet grave in the middle of the night excluding the rest of the family i'm starting to believe that he might be hiding something or could it be that this is some kind of a ritual practice you all let me know what you think because this is quite strange very unusual